Hey guys, I wanted to share some editing tips with you that should speed up your workflow. So the first thing that you see here is that I have three tools on the top here. You might only see two. In that case, we're going to have to add the third one for you. So this is how you do it. You go to the Logic Pro X menu, you go to Preferences, you go to General. You'll see there's an editing tab here. You see where it says right mouse button? There's a drop down menu and you want to make sure it says is assignable to a tool. This way you could put anything on there. I have the scissors on there for mine and it makes it way easy because now I could just do right click and make cuts. You also want to have the fade tool click zones box checked on and you could have the marquee tool click zones checked on if you like. I prefer to keep that on a separate tool. I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay, so the first tool we have is the pointer, which we can just grab regions and move them freely. This, the tool on the right here, the right click tool, is my scissors tool. So whenever I make a right click mark here, I could just make quick cuts. I'm just going to undo some of that. Okay, the middle tool here is called the marquee tool. It's got a couple functions. Um, basically, it's a command hold tool. So I'm holding command right now, and I'm just going to drag over the region I want to affect. If I drag and click, I've just made a cut, so I can move things as needed without having to cut in two places. That's one of the reasons why the marquee tool is cool. Another thing is if you're using automation. So if we're going to go to our automation mode by pressing A, we can see, let's say we want to take this uh, this section here I want to automate it. If you hold command using the marquee tool and you click and you click it's gonna make four dots for you. You're not gonna have to make their own dots so you'll be able to just automate the section that you need easily. Okay let's talk about the fade tool. So if you go to the corners of your region let's say this is the front of the region the left side you can just click and drag and you'll get a fade in. If you can see there's this little black crosshairs thing which shows you you're on the fade tool. So let's go to the fade out and you could do that here. So, so if, you, if you just want to do it visually you can do it very easily. If you rather work in text you can go to the region box here and then just go to more and here you can see your fade in and fade out. So here you can you can just click and drag to make your changes, or or if you want, you can just um, type it in. You could double click and let's say want to make a 500 fade. We can do that. So that's some cool things about fading in and fading out without using automation. Some other tools are handy are the nudge tools. So on my system, I have that as option arrow. So if I hold option and if I arrow, I could just nudge by whatever the nudge value I set is. So here's how you set the nudge value. You see there's a little toolbar here next to the inspector. Here you could set your nudge value. So I have it set to 10 milliseconds, but you could also go by beat, uh, by division if you want to move by 16th notes which I have my division set to. You can do that too. Or you can move by one millisecond. You can move by samples. Any way you want. It makes things way easier when it comes to, to getting things in time, in place, easily, when you have to nudge something. So that is set with Option Arrow. And this is how you can set that up. You can hit Option K, and that will bring up your... Um, this will bring up your uh, Key Commands window. Yeah. We'll do it a little bit different differently. We'll go to key commands. We'll go to edit. Okay. So here you could just type in whatever you want to adjust. So here I'm typing in nudge. And if you want to do nudge region by event position right, meaning move it right later in time, you could set that to a key command. Mine's option right arrow. Or if you want to move it left earlier in time, left arrow. So you can uh, set these uh, the way you need to. Another cool feature you can do is split. So I have split regions by playhead position. So if I don't want to use the scissor tool and I just want to cut right where the playhead is, I could just hit backslash and I'll make my cuts. This is especially helpful if you want to do some rolling cuts 
where if if the track is playing, you can just cut as you go, which is cool. It makes things a little faster. All right, and the last tool that I like to use is called the pickup clock. So we'll go back to our key commands here. And you know, this is this is a cool place because you can basically type in any function in logic and you could assign it to a key command. Um, so here's a cool one. This one's called pickup clock. I know it's a really weird name and I don't really know what it means, but move regions event to playhead position, pickup clock. So basically what that means, and I have it set to Apple backslash. So let's say I want to have this region snap right to this playhead bar. If I just hit the button, um, command backslash, I can just move it right to the thing without having to to try to, you know, uh, use the mouse and, and get it exact. It's going to snap right to where I need it to be. Well, that's some little editing tips. I hope that helps you guys. I hope it speeds up your workflow. It definitely helps me. Take it easy.